Hello, and thank you for listening to the Comlex Flashcards podcast. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources. Let's review acute pharyngitis. Um, you have to understand whether it's viral or bacterial. And scarlet fever is often associated with bacterial strep. So what are some of the findings that are suggested for strep pharyngitis um, or with scarlet fever? Well, there's an acute onset of sore throat and an absence of cough. That's a key finding absence of cough and sore throat is present fever uh, headache GI symptoms red pharynx with enlarged tonsils um, posterior pharyngeal and soft palate petechiae uh, enlarged tender anterior cervical nodes strawberry tongue uh, circumoral pallor which is commonly seen in scarlet fever finely papular bright red rash that feels like sandpaper so um, these things are key let's review them okay you have absence of cough red pharynx with enlarged tonsils posterior pharyngeal soft palate petechiae fever headache GI symptoms um, finely papular bright red rash like sandpaper that's common in scarlet fever and circumoral pallor so how do you make the diagnosis well uh, the swabbing of the posterior pharynx and tonsils with two swabs um, first by performing a rapid strep test and if that's positive uh, you want to treat with a penicillin for 10 days if the strep test is negative you want to do a plate culture and um, in this case you begin uh, with treatment with two days of uh, penicillin until the final cultures are available if negative then no further treatments necessary but if it's positive then you want to finish the treatment for another eight days So what are the complications? Well, retropharyngeal and lateral pharyngeal abscess. Those are the key. You have to remember these. You'll see this in young children because of deep nodes um, involute after the age of five years. They are most often polymicrobial, so group A strep, anaerobe, staporus. And findings include fever, irritability, decreased oral intake. That should be a key finding, along with drooling neck stiffness, torticollis, and refusal to move neck. So it has a very characteristic finding. On exam, you'll find bulging of the posterior or lateral pharyngeal wall with medial displacement of the tonsil. So remember this finding because it can help you make the diagnosis. What do you do? Well, first, soft tissue, uh, neck pain, phlegm uh, during inspiration, and after that, you can order a CT scan. The treatment is generally IV antibiotics, like a third-generation Uh, plus ampicillin, sulbactam, or clindamycin. And sometimes drainage is needed if the respiratory distress um, becomes severe. Another complication is a peritonsillar abscess. This is typical in adolescent with a recent strep pharyngitis. So patients will have sore throat, fever, trismus, and dysphagia. Again, um, markedly different than the retropharyngeal and lateral pharyngeal abscess where you have torticollis, refusal to move neck, drooling, things like that. Um, On exam, you'll find asymmetric tonsillar bulge with displacement of the uvula. So the key word here is the uvula being displaced. Um, Most organisms are group A strep and anaerobes, and CT may be used to delineate the abscess. Treatment is generally needle aspiration with IV antibiotics. Consider tonsillectomy if no improvement is done within 24 hours of both of these. Also, there are some specific types of viral pharyngitis, like pharyngeo conjunctivital fever caused by adenovirus which has four to five days of high fever, rhinitis, pharyngitis conjunctivitis, preauricular cervical lymphadenopathy. Patients can also have herpangina which is due to Coxsackie virus A, sudden onset of fever, sore throat dysphagia, small vesicles, and ulcers. Some patients have hand foot mouth disease which is also due to Coxsackie virus A or B that presents with painful vesicles in the mouth, maculopapular vesicular postular rash and lesions on the hands, feet, buttocks, and groin. So that was a quick review of some of the common topics you'll see under the topic of acute pharyngitis for pediatrics. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional lectures and good luck in your preparation.